Hi you guys, well you can see I got my 2016 Kia up on some ramps here, was getting ready to change my oil until I figured something out. Since we've had this car, I smelled antifreeze every time we would go out on a long drive. Now mind you, we've had this car for about oh a year, year and a half, something like that. And I gotta tell you, I've been looking for this leak all over the place. I checked the hoses, the metal tubings, and I could not find a leak. By the way, I never saw antifreeze on the ground or driveway until today. Now, I don't know if this came like this from the factory because we bought it used, or if the previous owner had replaced something and did a poor job. But either way, you should check this and see if this is happening to your Kia. So you may want to double check and see what you have down here. Let's go under the car and I'll show you. Okay, let's crawl under here. Now, I've already taken off my splash shield. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and click above on the right-hand corner. It's really easy. There's the front of the transmission. Here's your oil filter. And right in front of the oil filter, you'll see the tank for the antifreeze. You can see two hoses here. And to the left there, you can see the fan. And right above that is the tank. If you look at the very bottom, you'll see a hose. It goes right into the bottom of the tank. As you can see, I've got a lot of wet antifreeze. That's where it was leaking. Now, as I was looking at it, I was wondering why it's leaking. I was wondering if the tank was cracked or maybe my radiator's cracked and leaking. But the answer was right in front of my face. For some reason, there's no clamp on this hose. So what I did is I went down to the parts store and picked up some hose clamps. I bought these because it was an assorted pack and it was like two or three bucks. So what I did is I went ahead and pulled the hose out. By the way, before you remove the hose, you may want to get a pan so it collects the antifreeze so it doesn't get all over your driveway. As you can see here, it came out really easy. The next step, what I did was put the hose clamp on the hose, put it back into the tank and tightened it up. Once you're done, go ahead and fill your tank with the antifreeze. Double check you don't have any leaks. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and put back your engine skid plate and you're done. All you have to do is just check it periodically and make sure that it's not leaking or maybe there's a leak somewhere else. But for me, I checked it a few days and I didn't smell any antifreeze after that. So I think that was the problem all this time. I gotta tell you, that's a load off my mind because every time I went for a drive or for a long drive, I was always thinking that there's something gonna happen one day. If that hose would have came out, all the antifreeze would have came out and I would have been stuck at BFE. Anyway, okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.